Oh, there's a giant rock in front of you here. Having fun yet? Babs, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it's coming nervous. towards me. This is gonna be funny. Now this is about 20 minute sketchy drive from Zoboyak. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about less than 10 kilometers. Well, what's amazing is like, this is a real flat basin just outside the Dormito National Park. And if you look at that mountain there, that's sort of what you see when you're there at the Black Lake in Dormitor. And there's a whole bunch of little glacier lakes scattered around this area. And two more of those glacial lakes, which they also call eyes, are situated right here. And I mean, they are beautiful. Now the sun is shining on them, the water is gorgeous. And these two are quite popular for fishing and swimming. Uh. The short version is there's about 70,000 registered tombstones like this all over Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Montenegro, Serbia. Are so they're like- Oh, you're reading. I'm Cheetah. cheating. Cheetah. And they are medieval monolithic tombstones. <laughs> We're listening, <laughs> viewer. We're you listening. said the short version. That's the short version. Oh, is that? But what is it called? Stetchy. What is that? Stetchy means uh, tombstone. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's really? Tombstone. Yes. All right. Now okay, these chilly. tombstones are special because you can see the engravings on them. Let's have a quick look. So let's go oh, see here's if we can one, find here's that. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Yes, I see one. Oh, this is a nice one. Wow. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Yes, this is the P14 Ooh, through the park to see the canyons and it's supposed to be the most scenic drive and I'm already getting nervous. Oh my god. There's a giant rock in front of you here. Having fun yet? It's beautiful. I mean, it reminds me a bit of Norway, actually. Eh? We have these mm. beautiful lakes, these majestic fields and mountains. Uh, I mean, luckily it's not that much traffic, and fortunately it's mostly cars at the moment. And there are little spots where you can sort of pull over if you time it. You know, don't expect to go fast at all. Uh, What's the rocks here? He's got to go further back. Go further back. There's a gap there. Further back. Further back. The thing is, it's a beautiful road, and the scenery is stunning. The problem is every time you see a car, you get this like feeling of dread. <laughs> well, I don't mind seeing a car, I'm just saying a camper or a motor or a van. Oh, you mean the one that's coming over that hill now? I cannot it's argue like that it's not spectacular. Yeah. Oh, look at this road that we've been driving. Yo, that's a tight turn, holy shit. Look at the scenery. Oh man, I'll tell you, I'm just not able to relax. I, I'm not cut out for this. That's why this allows countries where it's flat. Like fully in Italy, mm -hmm. Denmark, good hunt. Wow. My legs are shaking. Such a drama queen. Everything's been shaking around. <sighs> shaky, shaky. Yeah, it's fun, eh? 
It's going to Montenegro, she said. Oh. It's going to ride some mountains, she said. Why do we do this, she said? All right, let's just take a break. Oh. <laughs> right, tightly squeezed in next to a truck here, but I think this belongs to the farm down here, in all likelihood, and the little loader, probably also, which is fine because we got this most incredible view. It's 5.30 at the moment, no cell phone signal, which is not the worst thing in the world. What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> What's the Starlink? <laughs> no Wi-Fi, no Starlink. Even if we had Starlink, it wouldn't work here. No. We'll maybe try and fix something to eat. <laughs> What's wrong, Helen? Absolutely nothing is wrong. <laughs> this is incredible. We can even go wash in the river down there if we need to. I guess it's be sweaty by the time we get back, but that's an option. Should we go? Not going anywhere. Man, life does not get better than this. We're going to enjoy the view. A lot of people just stopping to do random things, mostly taking photos, but I don't blame them. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's snow, Lisa. There's busy. still snow up there. And there's I mean, look at some snowed. of these boulders mm. lying in the middle of nowhere. Are you back? Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Into the sun. Wow. What a... <gasps> you brought me snow! You yeah. brought me snow! I had to run two <laughs> kilometers with it, so it started out of ball like this, but now my hands are... No way! Oh my god, that is so awesome! Wow, that is so cool. Look at this! How are you gonna... <laughs> <laughs> but what an incredible place to wake up in. Crazy, I mean, eh? honestly, look at this. Views 360 degrees around. <sighs> there's the snow up there. I can't believe you brought me snow. Yeah, if you follow the road about two and a half kilometers, it's right next to the road we saw yesterday, but unfortunately, it was quite tricky running with it. I was kidding that we'd run along back there to go and play in the snow. Is it clean? Can I drink it? No, 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 I don't. No, because there's mud and uh -huh. sand. We actually haven't left this spot. Well, we actually moved I mean, to a slightly more, shall I call this, um, dangerous spot. Because where we were next to the truck, I don't know, it became a bit smelly. Not sure if it's because of the um, animal transporting or whatever the case may be. But now we're like on the verge of a cliff. <laughs> but if I can convince Lisa to get out of the van, we're going to go for a walk. Yes, please. So if you have a landy or a chimney or a ladder, you can make it down here to this camp spot. It's actually just below where we are. So it's an official camping spot in the park, which is quite cool. It costs you the same, it's like three euros. You know, obviously you need to pay for your park fees. But if you do what we do, you buy the annual pass, then you don't need to. To be in this nature, I think it's an absolute steal. I yeah, think it's yeah. a really great way of doing it. Yeah, I agree. I think what's nice is that they don't say you're parking, you know, a lot of countries allow you to sort of Overnight, but park. not camp. They don't discriminate your motorhome or your camper van. They say if you fit into the parking bay or you park at official parking spots, then yeah, go for it. But you're not allowed to do a few things. You're not allowed to exhibit any type of camping behavior. Whereas here, put your chair out, do yoga, whatever you want. How crazy! Oh, mm. Nice. I think we're the least serious hikers ever. What? <laughs> there you go. Wow, we made it to the top. Oh, that's cool. I have to stand on the highest, highest point. See? Ooh. Oh, there's the sheep's coming for you, Lisa. Um, I'm scared. Okay, now I think it's going towards you. Okay, the sheep is coming for me. Babes, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, it's hilarious. coming towards me. This is going to be funny. Go to Lisa. No, no, no. No. It's Dude. not interested in us in the least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Taking his lamb is making a run for it. <laughs> hey, lamb chop. Why are you so scary? Mommy is like, where's my lamb? It's so funny. They got such skinny little legs. They got like little stick legs. Yeah, they're not the best walkers. Seems like there's a storm incoming. Definitely a little bit of a storm brewing. Okay, we're going to have to get a bit back. I think that rain's coming. Well, we were actually thinking of moving late afternoon when traffic dies down, but it actually doesn't get much calmer probably until sunset. So we're going to stay the evening here. And why not? Tomorrow morning early, try and do this last 25Ks on this narrow little road <laughs> before the traffic picks up. Then we desperately need to find water mm -hmm. and food. Well, water most importantly. Yeah, it's also a weekend. Almost there. Time for a drink. I mean, time for a shower. I think a drink. And then it was just us. And our truck and our ladder, of course. Not bad, eh? Hello. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, and definitely the earliest I've gotten Lisa out of bed in a very long time. Well, I think I can't really sleep because I'm a little bit apprehensive about the rest of this drive. So you're having a bit of a thunderstorm this morning. It's glorious. We got up at it's just it's just on six thirty now in the morning, and we're trying to beat the traffic uh, out this pass. We got now twenty five kilometers, and it can easily take us more than an hour to do. And I'm not sure that this is the best weather to be doing it in. Oh, it's at least not hot. Yeah, are you ready? Let's just throw it down. It's slow, it's slow, there's another puddle of snow. Changes the ride completely. Mm. It's a lot more relaxed. I do recommend if you drive a camper here, maybe drive from east to west. At least you stand on sort of the inside line of the, the road. You're not like teetering on the edge when you have to pull over. You know, uh, navigate um, oncoming traffic. Quick stop for the view, look at this. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should watch my step here. So, this is a. We check out splits, there's more that side. Yo, look at these. Uh, oh my lordy, look at this. It goes through there. There's a little tunnel, there's a little tunnel, there's a little tunnel. <gasps> wow, wow. Light's a bit bad, but it's still pretty. mission is water. Maybe we got about 35 liters of Black Lake. For that we last got water as we entered Montenegro a week ago. So we're really really running low. Seems like it's not that easy. The campsites, there's no real campsites around. There's no public water fountains we can find. Struck out on water unfortunately. But we found a nice little parking spot. Whether we stay here or not is... I'm not sure. 
That's beautiful. What a view. Look at this. Wow. Look at this lake. So we struck out a little bit in our first plasma cookie. We were told, no, you should not get the diet version. There's plenty others. And then we started looking around. You can find plasma cookies in every shape, size, flavor, variety. But this one looks interesting. Although it's called plasma caca. Was it coca? <laughs> not sure. Maybe we should be eating only the diet ones, actually. Ah, you speak yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not getting any plasmas. <laughs> I'll just sit and look at the view. Mm. Saying goodbye to our beautiful lakeside spot. And we're gonna go see if we can find a place to swim. Now, rumor has it that we actually gonna expose our winter bodies to this uh, European sun today. <laughs> Woohoo, it's happening! We're in this town of, I don't know, what's it called? Pluzine. Pluzine. We're gonna go check out the, the local lake beach. too early for a beer so I have to eat ice cream. We're leaving this little town. The beach is a little bit busy, very vibey, band setting up, lots of people. Not really a cup of tea this time of the weekend so we're heading about 10 kilometers out of town to a monastery where apparently there's parking. Okay let's get out of here. Okay. I haven't found water. No we haven't. Oh there goes my ice cream. Yeah, so, so cool, they look completely open. You can meet our dogs, as always. And we got cows, we can't see the cows. There's hell, there's hell. It's hidden. Oh my word, look, there's big ones, there's big ones, look at this. Is our van hell proof? Oh my word, look at these guys bouncing off the window. Am I supposed to say something? Don't break my solar panels, hail! <laughs> oh, this is what happens. I get excited when it starts hailing and Andre starts freaking out that it's going to cause chaos and disturbance. Break stuff. So we're going to see if our window lifts again. Oh, I don't mind the rain, I just mind the bloody hail. Oh, you can see Millie. Millie, I can see you. You're exactly under cover. This is the Piva Monastery. What makes this monastery quite special is that it was relocated in 1982 when they constructed a hydroelectric plant here on the river Piva. And this monastery was also restored by the bishop and his brother who restored the Patriarch of Pesh. Wow. Mm. So they actually numbered each brick and painstakingly rebuilt it and they also had to move the frescoes which was actually a remarkable achievement. We're going to end this video here. 
<laughs> we just forgot how to end the video. We decided we're going to end this video here. It's starting to get really busy and hot in Montenegro, but we're still having a great time. The mountains and the roads does definitely pose a bit of a challenge. Uh, we are heading from here south towards the coast. Smash the like button and leave us a comment. I will see you next time in Montenegro. For more of Montenegro's beauty. Okay, bye. Ciao. That was very uninspiring. Inspire me. Inspire. Do the goodbye dance. The Montenegro dance. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>